Hey everybody, I'm back here to discuss some uh, additional modifications on this 65-inch, uh, very light styrofoam uh, airplane that was stiffened with a carbon fiber rod that's been essentially 60 inches to 30-inch uh, rods joined together, uh, two 30-inch carbon fiber tubes joined together by a metal rod in the middle. But anyway, it was had, I don't know if you remember on the last one, but it had a quite a blunt leading edge before leading up to the 25% uh, cord. Um, I just, you know, smoothed it out to be kind of a very rounded blunt leading edge. And that of course was causing a lot of drag. So at small scale, smaller scale, about half this scale, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. But as you start to get up to above 60 inches in span, the shape of the wing really, really starts to come into play and, and make significant differences. Uh, uh, and uh, I wanted to, you know, kind of verify that empirically by first trying it with a blunt round, uh, round, very blunt rounded leading edge. Um, you know, that was difficult for the air to get over, causing a lot of uh, form drag. Um, and now with a much more gradual, uh, shape to it. Of course, I have the uh, drooping leading edge cusp for the outboard third of the wing, but for the inboard third of the wing, you have also a, a bevel down here and a much more gradual slope up here. And that made a very significant difference in the glide. Um, there was a lot less drag. Um, and I also removed the two balancing weights from up here, the uh, two AA batteries, uh, so that it should not balance anymore on, at the spar, which is about 25% cord, rather about here, which is about 33% uh, of the cord, uh, so that it had a much more aft CG. And yes, it uh, does kind of tend to nose up more than you would like uh, for uh, when you put apply power uh, but uh, in terms of gliding that aft CG definitely helped a whole lot in terms of giving it a significantly longer glide these two changes together made a very noticeable difference uh, and once again this is all you know a lot more noticeable I've done the same thing at uh, smaller scales at like 30 inch scale or so and it's the those same changes did not result in as dramatic a noticeable change as when you do it at a larger scale and of course uh, i mentioned in the last video uh, that the tail was not exactly stiff and that was causing kind of floppy control uh you know not very crisp control uh, so I'm thinking of doing the next step, which is a carbon fiber rod, uh, carbon fiber tube for the uh, boom that leads to the tail to stiffen things up. Uh, but that won't necessarily help the glide so much. I will lose a little bit of weight, uh, but it uh, probably will help the crispness of the control of the airplane. Uh, something I didn't show last time was these full span uh, ailerons. They really, uh, you know, have a, a strong effect uh, on the roll. And um, this tail that has quite a lot of deflection um, compared to, you know, some more conventional stuff. Of course, for 3D airplanes, that's not a whole lot of tail, number one. Number two, that's not a whole lot of deflection. Um, and I suspect that the lack of effectiveness of the rudder it does it has some effect but it's not very effective lack of effectiveness uh, will be greatly improved when i uh, replace this so uh, wooden kind of floppy control uh, at the end uh, because it kind of torsions a lot and flops around all axes a lot um, with a carbon fiber rod carbon fiber tube okay uh, till next time